What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Jimmy Leader Geo, and this is the locker room, week seven of season seven of the GBA. The San Francisco Giantes are team building for Alola Athletic and their coach Callum, aka Hoodlum Scrafty. Now, this man is a very good battler, uh, also new to the league, so um, excited to be having a match against him. Uh, and he's got a really good team, guys. He's got a sand team with Excadrill on it. And I cannot emphasize enough that it, this is a, a surefire way to do, at worst, pretty good in a draft league. Because it's just, it's so hard to have an answer to everything when you're drafting your team. Because this is just, this is power and this is speed. And it just, it comes at you so hard. If you don't build your team right, you're gonna fall to it. So I've got a pretty good team here, uh, prepared to counter it. So let's kind of go over our team. You can see my team on the left over there. Um, uh, my draft, uh, of course, is Tapu Fini the Moana, Mad Mints the Salamence, Fresh the Arcanine, Dumbledore the Conkelder, Trip the Amoongus, Genghis Gar the Gengar, Bronzong, uh, Zong, uh, Klisk X, the Heliolisk, Night's Watch, the Umbreon, Mr. Finance, the Rhyperior, and Ditto, and Ditto, <laughs> Ditto is back, Ditto is back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you, you know how excited I am to have Ditto back, guys, Remix has returned, I have played with Remix on my roster every single season of the GBA and I'm just used to having it and I it got picked up in an earlier round than I had anticipated it would and I'm just so happy to have it back. I had to drop Gyarados uh, to free agency for the Decidueye after working out a deal with Chimpact to trade uh, Decidueye for Ditto, and I am, I, I honestly, I cannot be happier about this trade. I'm so excited to have it. I know it's like, you know, halfway through the season or something before I got it, but I'm really excited to have it back. I love Ditto. I love the, the mind games that go into it. I love team building with it, but enough talk about that. Let's look uh, above us here at the Alola Athletic Draft. They have Excadrill. Tyranitar, who is his Z-Move user, the Rotom, the Shaman, the Crobat, Aromatisse, Drudagon, Embor, Espeon, Sableye, and Snorlax. Oh, I had a little bit of a stroke there, but I made it through. Okay, so uh, let's go over the six mod I'm bringing this week. I'm bringing Dumbledore, Zong, Trip, Mad Mance, Remix, and Klisk X this week. Um, let's kind of talk about the whys here. First of all, he's brought... He's brought the three Mon that I have. I've tiered this, if you look above me, somewhat in order of likelihood that I think I'll that he'll bring them. It's not necessarily based on their threat level per se. It's versus me do i think he'll bring it and he's brought um excadrill and tyranitar combined there's always been one of them in every single match that he's ever played and i just it's hard for me to deal with the excadrill and so i'm prepping pretty highly for it uh i, I honestly am Looking at the other members of his team, uh, the Tyranitar, it's a Z-Move user, it's the sand setup for the Excadrill, the sand setup does pretty well against me, um, it's an important, it's an important part of his Excadrill being the threat that it is against my team. The Rotom, it's a pretty safe switch into Tapu Fini, it's a great way for him to gain momentum. And uh, if you look at the tier below, you'll see that I'm pretty sure he's bringing Shaman, and I'm also pretty sure he's bringing Crobat. Crobat and uh, Rotom form a pretty strong Volt Turn core. Uh, kinda can be bulky, can be fast. Crobat has a lot going for it. He's brought it a lot, and it's a it's a pretty safe lead. It's faster than everything on my team. It's the fastest Mon uh, in this matchup, so it seems likely 
that he'll bring that. Uh, the Shaman, because I don't... I don't really have a great Shaman switching, you know? Uh, he can Seed Flare pretty safely, and if he gets the drop, uh, he can take on... I mean, honestly, you can, uh, Shaman's a, a really weird mon. You kind of rely a little bit on hacks. Its stats are pretty good, but not great. Uh, there's some loss in immediate power, but there's also some pretty good uh, defensive sets it can run. So I, I just think Shaman's a threat. He's brought it a lot. He knows how to use it. Uh, and then looking at the next two tiers, honestly, it can kind of go any way. I think he brings Aromatisse because... Uh, He's, Salamence does kind of threaten his team with my speed tier is good outside of sand I can outspeed that Excadrill um, and it's the only thing he has to kind of save him against against Draco Meteors because honestly while there he does have another steel mon doesn't really want to take a dragon type attack especially if he's fearing that i'm say dragon dance i get set up uh and then i you know i can i can take him out because i have an earthquake potentially uh as a move pool option for mad Men's also so i i think that's a likelihood that, that comes drudagon's a pretty good switch in to several of my physical threats uh it can set up stealth rocks it can phase and the rough skin rocky helmet damage can do massive damage to any physical attackers uh, could be a really good switch into the fresh if he thought I brought it. So I think there's a good likelihood he does that. So he has a little uh, rock setup. Embor and then uh, Espeon and even Snorlax to a degree. They're all just kind of... They don't like sweep my 11 Mon. They do a lot of damage potentially. Uh, Embor in particular has very high attack and a really great move pool. I I guess with Embor, I have the potential to build pretty well for it, but I I don't think he'll bring it. Uh, it's it's slow, it's not that bulky. Uh, you can play uh, Big Pig, I think is the is the setup for a really defensive one that has Will-O-Wisp, but I got the Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini can be a pretty good switch into it. Uh, the Rhyperior can be a great switch into it. It does have a great move pool, but it is limited. It does need to utilize that intelligently to figure out what it can beat. But a lot of my mana outspeed it and just kind of kill it outright. Because um, it's not... It does have a lot of HP, but it's not truly bulky. Especially not on the special side of things. Uh, Espeon... I mean... Bronzong can kind of take it on, but it, it, it can have Shadow Ball. I have things for it. There's something I could want, but uh, but ultimately I've prepared for the things above it a little bit more. Sableye is just weird. Sometimes it can it can chip away at things. It can try and live. It's not bulky enough to wall a lot of my threats, but it can be frustrating to deal with. Uh, so he could bring that, but I don't think he will. I think he'll go a more calculated route. Snorlax is um, the best way to explain Snorlax in in league format, as far as I'm concerned, is. It can take a hit, it can give a hit. And having a Mon that can do that pretty much as a guarantee is really valuable. But I don't think Callum is going to play that way against me. Um, I do have some pretty defensive options out there. And if he wants to just trade a little damage here and there, that's not something that's going to necessarily benefit him too much. Especially if he's just trying to drop body slams, I could potentially take a guts boost or something like that. He could be fearful of that. Uh, but let's look at the, the six that I brought specifically. Klisk X, I'm bringing his choice specs, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hyper Voice, and Surf. Part of the reason I feel so safe bringing Heliolisk this week and with this set is he only has one um, immunity to Volt Switch. And it's Excadrill, and I have developed my team in a way to not be fearful of Excadrill because Excadrill is a threat guys I cannot stress this enough it is a threat and so I brought a uh, defensive leftovers intimidate Draco Meteor Defog Wish Protect Salamence this week um, opting for the Draco just for a little immediate power a little hit and run power and to catch a few things off guard at one point this was a specs set but I opted against it because 
I think this uh, is probably the single best answer I have to the Excadrill. Um, so the reason I'm showing you Klisk X first is because his role is very important in this game. He's fast. He's one of my fastest Mon um, that I have on the roster this week. And it's great chip damage against many members of his team. With the Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hyper Voice, Surf combination, he has something for almost everyone on the roster. Surf will hit super effective against the uh, Tyranitar or the Excadrill. Uh, the Thunderbolt and Volt Switch are both neutral against the... Uh, the Rotom and so will allow me to gain some momentum if that's a potential switch and he thought he had uh, I have hyper voice which will two hit KO the shaman uh, Which who I will outspeed uh, the volt switch will uh, hit super effective and almost Oko the uh, Crobat I'm having a hard time drawing the names out guys uh, and it's just really safe against a lot of the other mons here so I put just enough into speed to outspeed his Shaman and then just kind of toss the rest into HP for a little added bulk there. Uh, as I showed you guys the Ments already, it's a defensive set. It's going to be my primary switch into a lot of his physical threats. It's very safe switch into the Snorlax. It's a very safe switch into the Drudagon, even though it uh, does have the potential to run a pretty high power Dragon Stab. Uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, the Embor, it's a pretty good switch into Embor. Embor's hard. I, I guess I just kind of hope he doesn't bring Embor. He can have the the head smash there, though. I, I don't think he would bring head smash. Uh, I'm I'm predicting more of a like a flare blitz, maybe hammer arm. Could have stone edge. Uh, there's a lot. Sucker punch. There's so many things. There's so many things the Embor can do. I, I, but it's this is a really good switch into Embor too, resisting his uh, his stab flare blitzes there. Um, Crobat, great switch into Crobat. Uh, get that intimidate off. But unfortunately, I probably wouldn't switch it into Crobat most of the time because it would just net him a whole lot of momentum when he likely just clicks that U-turn on me. Shaman, uh, it resists Shaman's stab. Uh, but. But there's always the potential for Hidden Power Ice there. On any special attacker, you always got to be at least somewhat concerned of the Hidden Power potential there. Uh, but but yeah, pretty good against a good number of his team. And one of my primary, it's got reliable recovery. It can wish past a lot of the other mons this week. What I'm going for this week, guys, is safety in switches. His team is very well built. It's like incredibly well built if you look at the tight matchups the strengths weaknesses balance incredibly well built what he does differently than a lot of the other teams i've faced in the league thus far a lot of the other teams in the league thus far are just high tier mon high tier mon high tier mon they're just power 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 and whether or not they mesh is kind of irrelevant if all you have is power it's sort of why i don't really like free draft format um because i like the idea of balance i like the in the intellect that goes into finding something finding value in something to your team um and i think i see a lot of that in him he's taken some lower tier mons and really pieced them together to make a really cohesive team uh, but it's actually easier for me to build against uh, this week it, I, I feel that way at least pretty strongly so what i've my game plan this week with the help of trips reliable recovery and mad mensa's wish and reliable recovery i want to build a pretty strong defensive core throwing in uh, the bronzong there too i've got three really strong defensive mon that can take on his biggest threats on his team and that's sort of what i'm going for and then i want Klisk x to be a very safe i just want it volt switching around chipping at things you are my chipper and that's why I have you with choice specs and as much speed as possible. I want you to chip and get as much damage as possible. My win conditions this week are Dumbledore and Remix. Uh, Remix is running a pretty standard choice scarf set. Um, the IV spread... Oh, man. I have it in my notes, but I'm not going to pull up my notes right now. Um, I was... I'm thinking the most likely mon to be packing a hidden power are Shaman and... Um, Espeon, and I think I'm running HP Ice. Is it HP Ice? 
Might be HP fighting. Uh, I, I don't fully remember, uh, to be honest. But I know that... And, and it doesn't really show it here because... Um, or does it show it here? What's my heavy spread? I'm not going to figure it out right now, guys. But I, I have an HP on there. I, it's in my notes. So I'll know, I'll know in time for battle. Uh, but Dumbledore is my big one here, guys. This is Choice Banded Iron Fist with Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Ice Punch, and Knock Off. I have something for every member of this man's team. And you cannot wall this, guys. You cannot wall 140 base power, 252 adamant Dumbledore with a Choice Band and Iron Fist boosting his moves. Guys, you cannot wall this. Um... I have something for everything. It's just going to require me... It's going to require me to be intelligent with my predictions here. Because while fighting moves are great against uh, his likely brings um, Excadrill and Tyranitar, he does have a 4 times resist in Crobat. He does have a resist in... Um, the Aromatis, and I actually that's one of the only ones I don't have something for, uh, something to hit it super effective against. But Ice Punch does actually two hit KO it, unless, you yeah, know, Ice Punch does two hit KO it. So I'm I'm actually still kind of okay there. Uh, the Embor Big Pig, you're going down to to a Mock Punch. The Espeon could be a problem because it outspeeds me, so I'd have to Mock Punch it. But I can get some chip damage on it maybe or. I got some pretty good answers to it elsewhere, such as the Bronzong. Uh, but this, guys, this is my this is my win con. It does great against the Tyrantar. Tyrantar has nothing for me, um, and it's I need the I need the priority that it that it packs, and I need the power that it packs. And this is going to be my big win con this week. I got the Macho Brace Bronzong. Bronzong's gonna. It's usually pretty passive, so it baits a lot of switches that, to things that can take advantage of it. But Gyroball Earthquake is really good against his team in combination. Uh, resisted by the Rotom, of course, but Rotom, Rotom's going to do what Rotom does. It's going to chip. It's a it's a good chip mon. It's kind of it can be pretty bulky, but uh, I have the Stealth Rock, Gyroball Earthquake, and I just kind of tack Trick Room on there. You never know with Trick Room on Bronzong. Um, if someone gives me too much of an opportunity to just be safe uh, after I got the Stealth Rocks up and I don't really want to do anything else with Bronzong, I'm going to click Trick Room because his team in general is more f got more speed on it than mine does, especially this week. Trip is coming again, guys. Black Sludge Regenerator set this week uh, with Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Synthesis, and Spore. Uh, can wall a good number of Mons on his team. Kind of weak to Crobat, but I have great Crobat answers. Uh, a couple of things that are maybe a little scary to me uh the uh, packing psychic on the shaman could be a little bit of a problem my set looks weird guys it's enough special attack that i can two hit ko the shaman uh that's an offensive variety with sludge bomb uh giga drain to do as much damage as i can to tyranitar and to the rotom Spore is great. I'd put anything on his team to sleep except that Shaman. And then Synthesis just to kind of recover back. A defensive spread so that I'm not... Ah, uh, what's the defense for? The defense is so that I don't get O-Code by Earthquake, I think. Um, and enough special defense uh, with my HP investment to tank those that Psychic from the, from the Shaman. So I want to be able to beat the Shaman in a 1v1 scenario. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I can do that. And I want to be able to survive at least something to give me kind of a pivot um, ability against the Tyranitar and the Excadrill. So that's sort of what Trip's there for. Remix, guys, you know, Remix, standard set. So that's my team this week. Uh, what do you guys think of the team? Would you have brought something different? Do you like what I brought? Do you think I'm missing something? Uh, let me know, and uh, I will see you guys at the battle tomorrow. A uh, big shout out and thank you to Mr. Burke this week because he has genned my team uh, for my battle. And I uh, just got to thank that guy. He's so dependable for the GBA. Um, he's a great analyst and he really helps 
uh, a lot of us out with Jenning. So thank you, thank you, Burke, and looking forward to seeing you on the battlefield tomorrow, Mr. Callum. As always, my name is Jim Lutigio. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.